Hello everyone, so today I just bought a new keyboard. Uh, I bought the black... Oh, it's so heavy! So I bought the uh, Black Widow, Black Widow uh, Tournament Edition version 2. So it comes with the wrist rest, which is pretty nice. Because the wrist rest is quite good. I have the Ornata wrist rest over here. So, like, I quite like this wrist rest. It's really plush, it's really comfortable, and it's great. But I didn't like the Ornata keyboard. The Ornata keyboard's not that great, to be honest. And I will make a video in the future about why I didn't like it and why I opted to change it to the uh, Tournament Edition, which is only about, like, $20 more expensive. And it's a full mechanical keyboard. But first of all, I need to change all of my all of my keycaps because I use I use O-rings on all of my all of my keyboards because I don't like my keyboard being really loud but I still like the feel of a mechanical keyboard. So, I'm going to start doing that and start pulling out all of these little O-rings now from my keyboard or my existing keyboard which is the which is the um, CLG Black Widow is the full Black Widow version with the orange switches. And with the new one that I bought, this one is with yellow switches. So we will see the difference. But first of all, I need to pull out all these freaking O-rings. Okay, I'll be right back. Pulling all these O-rings out is going to take a while. I'm pretty sure it's going to take me like 50 years or something. As for the O-rings, if you're wondering, I'm actually using the Razer, the Razer O-rings. I just bought it directly from the Razer store because I was too lazy. I know there are cheaper options around, but I'm just too lazy to, uh, to find it. Because, you know, Razer, if they make their own O-rings, it's probably, like, the correct size and everything for the Razer keyboards. And I just... Didn't want to deal with any hassle, so I was just like, why not? And then the O-ring package, it's actually pretty nice. Like, it gives you, first of all, it gives you this little keycap puller, which obviously is just a piece of plastic, but I mean, it's just convenient. You just push it down and pull, and then the keycap comes out. Second of all, it gives you this brush, because when I first pulled out my keycaps on my CLG keyboard, which was like three years old, it is disgusting. It is extremely dirty and disgusting, and with having this brush helps a lot. With all that gunk and dust and hair and uh, all that other stuff. Then obviously it comes with the with the bag of O-rings. So they actually give you more than you need. So like I used all of the uh, I filled I used the O-rings on my entire full size keyboard, and I still have like an extra maybe. 10 of them over here, which is pretty nice. But since I know it's not enough, I'm going to have to take these out of my existing keyboard here so that I can actually fill up my other, my new keyboard with these O-rings. So a lot of people ask me, like, um, do O-rings actually work? Do they make your keyboard quieter? And my answer to that is yes. It does make it quieter. However, it depends on the purpose. Why are you buying the O-rings? Are you buying O-rings because you want to, um, because, because you're streaming and you're recording something with a microphone? If you're recording something, for example, I use the, uh, Blue Yeti microphone, okay? So everyone knows that a Blue Yeti microphone is a cardio, uh, cardioid mic. And a cardioid mic is very sensitive. It picks up everything. So you need to make sure that you're in a quiet environment. But the problem with this microphone is that even in a quiet environment, your keyboard is going to be loud if you use a mechanical keyboard, especially if you use green switches or um, any cherry. I'm, I'm not I'm not familiar with the cherry switches, so I don't know what's loud and what's not loud. But anyway, but using a mechanical keyboard, it's going to be loud. So especially when you bottom out, um, bottoming out means like when you press a button all, when you press a key all the way to the bottom of the keyboard and you can't push it anymore, that's bottoming out. So when I type, I always bottom out so you can hear the sound. 
It's kind of annoying, right? It's kind of loud. Some people like the sound. I personally, I don't mind the sound when I watch other people's videos, but I do mind it in my own videos because I know that it annoys certain people. Like, I know it might be a minority, but I know that people do get annoyed by that sound. So in my videos, I tend not to type or tend to avoid using my keyboard. That way, you know, my viewer has a better experience while watching my content. So by installing these O-rings, it does help a little bit but you still do hear my keyboard. If you're looking for a solution to 100% uh, delete the sound of the keyboard, like not have any sound of the keyboard, I recommend either getting a dynamic microphone. A dynamic microphone is, uh, is slightly more expensive, I guess. I'm not sure if it's more expensive, but a dynamic microphone basically is like one of those broadcast microphones. Like, you know, the ones that they use in like radio stations, that's a that's a uh, dynamic microphone, and the dynamic microphone is really good at um, the dynamic microphone is really good at uh, isolating sound so that it only picks up your voice. I'm pretty sure this kyuk kyuk sound is gonna annoy a buttload of people. I think as a viewer, I don't think as a content creator. So as a viewer, what do I want to see? That's usually what I ask myself before I make a video or before I make a video on like a certain topic. So I need how many keys? Is Does this tell me how many keys there are on this keyboard? Please tell me, you tell me how many keys is it? It's like an 80 something keys. So it's 87 keys. Okay, do I have 87 O-rings here? So that makes it 10 over here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60. Oh, there's so much work. I'm lazy. I want to pull all these out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, yeah, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, I got 80 keys out. I need seven more, I think. Was it seven? Okay, seven more keys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it should be 87. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. 87. Okay, good. So now we can get our new keyboard here and we can open it up. You've got some documentation at the top over here. It's not really useful. And then you've just got your keyboard. You've got your cable here. You have your wrist rest, wrist rest here. And finally, the keyboard itself over here, over here. These are the yellow switches. So to put the O-rings, you just pop it in like that, like this. And then you push it down, and then you push it down a few times. So this is the sound test with O-rings and without O-rings, okay? This, the up key over here has an O-ring. And this one, the down key does not have an O-ring. I'll do it again. I'll put it right next to the microphone now. So here's my microphone. That's right in front of it. So yes, you can tell that there is a difference when you install the O-ring. Uh, is it that much of a difference? That's up to you to decide if you think it's worth it or not. O-rings aren't that expensive. You can buy, you don't have to buy the ones from Razer. If you do buy the ones from Razer, yes, they, they are a little bit expensive. Like they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. You know, they're basically just rubber rings. So what was I saying? Right, most of these keys are gonna be pretty easy to install. It's the, there's a couple that might be a little bit of a problem. For example, like the space bar. The space bar is a little bit tricky. But when we get to that, I'll show you guys how to install that. 
with the o-ring it's a little bit tricky but i mean you know it's not it's it's not that bad so usually i start from like the outside i start from the arrow keys especially on a tournament edition where there's like no num lock over here it's only the arrow keys i'll go from the arrow keys all the f keys and then i'll start going row by row all the way down until the end another reason that i got the tournament edition especially the v2 the new one is because of the wrist rest when i got the when i got the ornata keyboard i was very happy with the wrist rest like the keyboard not so great but the wrist rest that was that was amazing the wrist rest is something that a lot of people just overlook but like when you've experienced it, it's there's no going back. It's kind of the same like if you have a G-Sync monitor or like a 120, uh, 120 hertz monitor. It's like the moment you've seen that and you go back to like a regular 60 hertz monitor, you just can't go back. Everything just seems so jarring. It's like when you go 4K as well. When you go 4K and you get used to seeing like 4K monitors and you go back to a regular uh, 1080p monitor, everything just doesn't look as nice. It doesn't look as clear. It's like there's like a filter on top of it and it just it just looks weird. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is this delete key? Okay. So you can see here my delete key over here let's zoom this in so you can see here my delete key is like at a really awkward angle so what you want to do is you want to slide it out slide it here and slide it out so you slide it in all the way to one direction and then you can slide it to the other direction and you pull the key out so what you want to notice here is that there is this key you know this is the the backspace key and then inside the backspace key there is actually this mechanism this little metal thing you guys can see that that metal thing over there so what you want to do is you push on the bottom over here to bring up the metal thing so you can see that is pushed up now so now that it's pushed up first of all you want to put your o-ring back onto your your backspace key right so you don't have to put it in all the way you just kind of put it in like that and then once that is in again you lift up your keyboard you push this thing so this so the bracket thing comes up and you can see that there are two little hooks at the side of your of you can see those those little hooks now you want to hook it onto those so you want to slide it to one direction first. So I'm going to slide it to the one on the right. Slide it all the way to the right. Okay, and then slide it all the way to the left. And it's in. And voila, that's it. Nice and simple. So the ones without the O-rings, it's really loud. It's like clack, clack, clack. But the ones with the O-rings, it's like a muffled, it's like a muffled sound. Because, you know, it's hitting the rubber O-ring. It's like when the key goes down, there's this rubber O-ring over here that actually softens, dampens the sound. So you guys might be wondering like, oh, Carol, why are you making, why are you making random videos? Shouldn't you be making a uh, Blade and Soul videos? And my answer to that is actually, this is practice for me. I actually want to do something along like the Let's Plays, but I'm not very good at doing something while talking at the same time at the moment, like saying coherent stuff or saying like interesting stuff. So I was watching a few YouTube videos on like how to do it and they're like, yeah, just speak your mind and practice. Practice talking when no one's actually around. The great thing about making YouTube videos is I can edit out everything. Like in a lot of my videos, I I take multiple retakes for each scene or like even entire videos. For example, the crafting video that I've made for uh, Blade and Soul, like the I made three versions of that video and then I scrapped two of them. 
the because I just felt like they weren't good enough. I felt like I didn't cover enough points or I wasn't concise enough. So I just straight up deleted the video and then redid them because I feel like if I'm going to post something on YouTube, I want to post quality content. I don't want to post something that I just kind of, you know, uh, rushed or half-assed or something. But like this video, on the other hand, is definitely something that I half-assed. Alright, so doing the win the, doing the spacebar is actually really annoying. So spacebar is just like a really big one. You can see here's the spacebar. You can see that it's got hooks as well, right? On the left and the right side. And if you look at this, the keyboard itself, over here, it has a gigantic hook over here from here spanning to here. You see this little metal hinge thing that I'm moving around? It has that. So what you want to do is get your space bar over here, put on your your o-ring. Make sure you orient it right so you don't want to install your spacebar the wrong way. It's quite easy to mess up. Did I install it the wrong way? Is that what happened? I may have installed my spacebar backwards. Okay, let's try this again. And voila, there we go. Mechanical keyboard all set up. Next thing is the wrist rest. So I'm really excited about this wrist rest because I've heard because I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's wow, it's a very strong magnet. It's a very strong magnet compared to the Ornata. The Ornata was not a strong magnet. And the nice thing about this is it's a lot more plush. If you compare it with the Ornata, the like the plushiness in this compare to the plushiness of this, this is a lot more plush the one that comes with the tournament edition compared to the Ornata. So this this feels really good. This feels really nice as well. And the magnets are really strong. Like look, wow, you can. You can lift up the keyboard without the magnets falling. That's pretty impressive. You couldn't do that with the Ornata. The Ornata, you'd lift it up and it'll just like fall off instantly because the magnets weren't that strong. And yeah, um, feels really nice. So. I'm going to be using this keyboard for a while and I'll probably give us give you guys a review in the future. But anyway, I hope that this video was entertaining at least. I mean, I'm pretty sure I didn't help anyone, but if I did, you know, let me know in the comment section below. But I hope you guys were a little bit entertained or learned something about me or, you know, something. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. What can I say except you